This short video will show you how to update your ownership information. To begin, go to the college's website at bcpharmacist.org and click eServices on the top panel. To sign in, enter your username and password in the corresponding fields and click the Sign In button. This will take you to the eServices homepage. To access the Pharmacy Summary page, click My Pharmacies. On the Pharmacy Summary page, scroll down for a list of organizations you are associated with. Click the plus icon in the left-hand column to show the pharmacies owned by an organization. To update the ownership information, click on the direct owner. This will take you to the ownership portal, where you'll find the current ownership structure displayed. To update and confirm ownership information, click Edit. This will take you to the current indirect owner information, which will be displayed at the bottom of the page. To add an individual person as an indirect owner, click Add Person and enter the applicable information. Once you've completed this, click Save and Close. To view the relationship of an indirect owner, click the arrow next to their first name or the company name. To add a shareholder organization or parent company as an indirect owner, click Add Organization and enter the applicable information. Once you've completed this, click Save and Close. To add a person as an indirect owner associated with a shareholder organization, click the name of the organization in the ownership tree. Then click Add Person and enter the applicable information. Once you've completed this, click Save and Close. To add an additional role to an indirect owner, click the name of the direct owner or shareholder organization in the ownership tree. Click the arrow next to the name of the indirect owner you wish to add an additional role to, followed by the plus icon button. Select the new relationship type, then click Save and Close. To remove a role from an indirect owner, click the name of the direct owner or shareholder organization in the ownership tree. Click the arrow next to the name of the indirect owner you wish to remove a role from. Select the role you wish to remove. Then click the pencil icon button. Enter an effective date. Then click the Stop Ownership checkbox. When this is done, click Save and Close. To completely remove an indirect owner from an organization, repeat these steps until all roles have been removed. If needed, you can edit or delete any of the newly added ownership information by highlighting the indirect owner and clicking the corresponding buttons at the top of the page. If the direct owner or any of your shareholder organizations are non-publicly traded companies incorporated in BC, you will be required to upload supporting ownership documents. To upload ownership documents for a specific organization, click on the organization in the ownership tree. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the document type that you wish to upload. Then click Select File and locate the file you wish to upload. Then click the Upload button. Repeat this process until all required documents have been uploaded. Once all ownership information updates are complete, click Submit for Validation. It is important that you ensure all your information has been submitted before clicking Submit for Validation, as you will no longer be able to go back and make changes once you have clicked this button. When you are finished with your session, please remember to sign out.